story. The search for the new emperor is on. Christoph Kimmich is stepping down from his throne of power. The battle has begun for the next president of Brooklyn College. I'm Anita Flores coming to you from Whitehead, the only building on campus named after a pimple. I'll bring you today's headlines. Are you speaking in a British accent, Andrew? Headlines! Students have been siphoning toilet paper from the school bathrooms for their homes. It's 10 a.m. in New York, 2 p.m. in Sri Lanka, and 6 a.m. in Brooklyn College. Good evening. Welcome to the BC Update. I'm Andrew Shepard. It was only last week that Brooklyn College President Christoph Kimmich announced his retirement. Now the search is on for the next BC president. Brooklyn College has issued a press release stating that in order to increase student interest in the process, they'll be converting the search into a reality TV show titled Presidome, Three Men Enter, One Man Leaves airing on BCAT later this month. No one knows who the mysterious three candidates are, but we do know what type of challenges they will endure. First, the candidates will be required to get onto campus without a school ID. Then they must ignore student questions and concerns for as long as humanly possible. Once they get on, they will be confined to campus for 30 days. The only food source will be leftovers from the halal carts and cigarette butts. By the time half of them die off, the remaining survivors will be captured in cages and brought to the Presidome, which will be built in the center of the quad. Once they're in cages, they will be slimed, Nickelodeon style, with BC lube, which is made from the tears of students who are two credits short of graduating. One student said, People are just crying and masturbating at the same time. The candidates will have a choice of weapons, such as chainsaws, hammers, and shivs. Personally, I'd choose Chuck Norris. Kimmick, with the special guest judges Tyra Banks and my fellow Brit, Simon Cowell, will not pick the winner based on their fighting skills, but on whose body best glistens in the BC lube. And spoiler alert! For the finale, each candidate will go on a date with President Kimmick, where they'll meet his family and try to make out with him to win his vote. At the end, President Kimmick will present the winner with a rose, and the losers will be thrown off the BC bell tower. But before the three candidates start anything at all, most of them must pay the bill at the bursa. After the losers are executed, the winner and Kimmich will retire to Kimmich's old office, where they will enjoy drinking champagne while bathing in a pile of students' tuition money. And now to Anita Flores in Whitehead for today's other top stories. Andrew, seriously, why are you speaking in a British accent? It's horrible and I know you're not from England. Yes, I am. No, you aren't. You're from Westchester, New York. No, I'm from Westchester, England. What? No, you're not. Anita, really, would you expect to find someone as pasty white as me in a place like Westchester, New York? Agreed, but still, what the shit? I think it gives the news a sense of urgency. Watch this. Go out with me. Nope. Who is Christoph Kimmich? No, really, who is he? I really don't know. He's the president of Brooklyn College. You want me to murder your face? Wait a minute, we have a college president? Indubitably. Austin, cue the picture. New, 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 oh, Blue Ranger. New, 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 oh, oh wait, wait, go back. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, that guy? I've seen him before in the bathroom. You in the men's bathroom? So you do stand when you pee. 
No, I only stand up when I poop. Ugh. Anyway, back to top news. Students flood 2009 CUNY Big Apple Job Fair held at the Javits Center on Friday and realize they're totally screwed. Thanks, economy. Still, desperation urged students on. BC scholars hit up table after table, getting down on hands and knees to beg employers for jobs. But company representatives responded much the way subway goers do to homeless people asking for change, by looking down and pretending to read a book, or by quietly telling students they ought to visit the website and apply there. Because that's what job fairs are all about. There was one thing the students liked about the CUNY job fair. Free shit! You mean shite? In unrelated news, a 37-year-old Connecticut woman handcuffed herself to her husband and proceeded to bite him while he frantically called 911. Why does everything effed up happen in Connecticut? I should know. I'm a Connecticutic here. Do you know what goes on in quiet New England suburbs? People are giving their chimps antidepressants and drinking Robitussin like Jaeger bombs on a Friday night. Why is rich people murder so much more elaborate than gang violence? A stabbing isn't sufficient? Apparently you need to handcuff yourself to your husband and bite him to death. Up next, the BC Update Entertainment Beat with Josh Skye and the underground toilet paper crisis is revealed.